Hi, welcome back. Uh, in this uh, question, I'll be discussing a statement regarding feeding of newborn babies. So, this is one statement which is correct here and you have to pick that. Uh, giving occasional infant formula top-up in the first two to three days doesn't impact breastfeeding. Using pacifier in the first week doesn't affect breastfeeding. Expressing to empty the breast after the baby feeds can help to improve the milk output. The baby can take a regular volume of 30 to 60 ml of feeds from day one if you are needing top of feeds. So there is one statement which is correct. So obviously three of them are not correct. And uh, please, I will pause for a second, think about the answer. Okay, I hope you got the right response. The first choice is obviously wrong. So it's very important to encourage exclusive breastfeeding. There is a reason for that. When the baby gets exposed to formula milk, the baby goes off the breast sometimes and they are not hungry enough to stimulate the mother's breast and uh, the confusion happens both for the mother and the baby because the mother's system, the breast needs to empty to produce more milk. The baby isn't hungry enough to empty the mother's breast. So the, the cycle goes off. The baby may get irritable because uh, extra lactose load the baby is getting from the formula is not ideal for the new baby and uh, this makes the mother more frustrated and want her to give more formula. So try to avoid any formula unless there is a medical indication. The baby can easily sustain himself or herself in the first two to three days with less volume of milk. Uh, the second point about pacifier, I mean pacifiers are to be used only after your breastfeeding, the latch is well established and the milk output is uh, clearly there. So avoid pacifier in the first one to two weeks at least. And uh, once the breastfeeding is well established, the weight gain is there. You can consider using a pacifier as I have discussed in other videos if you decide to use one. But if you can manage without it, that's better as well, especially if you're exclusively breastfeeding. If spacing becomes a problem and the baby tends to feed very frequently, you can use it just to space the feeds uh, if possible, uh, not to give within the one hourly interval, for example. Uh, Expressing to empty the breast after the baby feeds can help. So this is specifically important where the weight loss in the first couple of days is on the higher side or the baby has jaundice or it's a growth restricted baby uh, or a baby at risk of hypoglycemia. So you want to stimulate the milk faster. The lactogenesis takes time and by expressing in addition to the baby feeding, you're actually going to stimulate and uh, get the milk sooner and the additional milk that you get can reduce the risk of hypoglycemia, weight loss and jaundice as well. Antenatal expression is another component I've discussed before, which can start even before the baby delivers. I would uh, refer the video for that as well. The last point, obviously, the volume of milk in the first few days should be very little. Babies take 10 to 20 ml per feed if you need a top-up feed. Uh, the reason for this breast milk increases very gradually. The baby uh, has low level of lactase enzyme to start with and this gets upgraded once the lactose in the milk stimulates the enzyme. So if you give too much of uh, the milk uh, volume, the baby cannot digest this milk sugar. They get uh, gassy, colicky and they start crying and they may pass watery stools early on, get a nappy rash as well. So all that is not going to help the baby. So the na natural progression of feeding volume, the stomach is very small to start with as well. So 5 to 10 ml in the, uh, per feed in the first few hours. 10 to 20 ml for the first three days or so is more than adequate. So mention this to the mother so she is more encouraged to breastfeed because she is worried about the milk volume. And if you do give formula for any reason, remember that the baby can get colicky and upset if you give a bigger volume simply because they cannot digest that volume early on. And they too tend to vomit as well because the stomach is small. So remember this and teach your staff as well. I hope these tips help. And uh, please do subscribe, share and do consider becoming a member if you are a parent will benefit. Thank you.